Hello and welcome back to the AFLAC Cup Series Season 11 Summer Showdown, where we are in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where the headquarters of Menards are at the Menards Raceway, a new racetrack, debuting with just two races remaining in round four. Now we're going to check out the drivers to watch for in tonight's race. De Benedetto, third pole of the season. He's doing great this year in qualifying. Can he back it up with some solid results? The underdog story in qualifying is Daniel Suarez posting a third place qualifying time. Let's hope he can stay up front. Kyle Busch, 34th last week. Where will he finish this week? He seems to be hot and cold this season and wrecks a lot. Chase Elliott has put the incident with Joey Logano behind him because he needs to. He needs to put his focus on the playoffs. And this is what we're talking about. Just two weeks ago in Martinsville, Logano gets to the back of the bumper of the nine and spins him out going into turn one on a restart. Now the point standings. After Martinsville, you got Ryan Blaney winning the race. Kevin Harvick and Brad Kozlowski both had fantastic runs. Jimmy Johnson in fourth. Clint Boyer fifth. Truex sixth. Kurt Busch seventh. Matt DiBenedetto is in eighth. Denny Hammond, McMurray, Tyler Reddick, Chase Elliott, and Kyle Busch are the five drivers that would go home if they could not improve their points position in the next two races. Now for the command. Drivers! Start your engines. The old Dale Jr. Menard Chevrolet fires up and rolls off as he will lead the field as the pace car. Now for their starting lineup, Matt DiBenedetto on the pole to his outside, Alex Bowman, Daniel Suarez in YRB in row two, Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott in row three. Sitting in row four, it's Big Bad Brad Kozlowski and Denny Hammer and Hamlin. Row five, Austin A. Stillen and MTJ. Row 6, Kevin Happy Harvick and Dat Jones Boy. Row 7, Willie B, Bill Byron, and Jimmy, two-time, seven-time champ Johnson. Row 8, it's Joey Slagato and Ricky Spinhouse Jr. Sitting in row 9, Kurt Busch and Eric Amarola. Row 10, it's Jamie McMurray and Clint Boyer. Row 11, Christopher Bell and Bubba Wallace. Sitting in row 12 is Carter Adelman and Tyler Reddick. Row 13 this evening, Ty Dillon and Ryan Newman. Then in row 14 is John Hunter Nemechek and Bryce Harvey. Row 15, Max Kansas and Michael McDowell. Row 16, we find Cold Custard and Corey LaJoy. Row 17 is Ryan Priest and Chris Buescher. Now we are ready to go green flag racing here. Under the lights, 12 laps of racing and Matthew Benedetto gets a terrible start to this race. And then we got Shurex up in the wall as well. Alex Bowman rockets off with the race lead as the cars roll through turns three and four, the diamond-shaped racetrack. And here comes Martin Shurex Jr., a playoff contender with a flat tire on lap one after getting contact with his teammate Eric Jones. Meanwhile, up front, it's Alex Bowman leading the field by a wide margin over Ryan Blaney and Brad Kozlowski. Blaney sitting contently in second place. Oh, he gets a little loose off a of turn four there, but Ryan Blaney was the most recent winner. Now here comes Martin Truex Jr. now two laps down to start this race. Here comes Hamlin to the inside of Truex. Down the back stretch. Battle for second is on. Looks like it's not much of a battle as Kozlowski will take that position. Now Kyle Busch peeks to the inside of Ryan Blaney as he gets tied off a of turn two. Right up to the side of Kyle Busch. He might clear him. Oh, he tried to, but he wasn't clear. Kyle Busch checks up and gets spun out by Austin Dillon. What a save by Kyle Busch as well. I don't think he hit anything. Caution on the racetrack though, with Ryan Blaney up into the wall and Kyle Busch coming down pit road as he flat spotted those tigers. Watch as Blaney maybe thought he was clear and then Kyle Busch checks up. Austin Dillon does not. And Austin Dillon just runs over Kyle Busch and spins him out. Watch the save by Kyle Busch. Does he hit the inside wall? Oh, he is awfully close and he almost clobbers Austin Dillon on his way back up. Yeah, that's a hard hit for Ryan Blaney. That right front just knocked the toe out of that car. And then Austin Dillon barely scoots by, but that's why Kyle Busch, one of the best drivers in the sport right now, if not the best. And Truex, he had a mishap on lap one here. Oh, looks like Eric Jones, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Truex has kind of got loose, but he does get one of those lap backs with a lucky dog. Now Bowman will take us back to the green flag here on lap seven. Kozlowski is going to put up a good fight on the inside. Here comes Kevin Harvick making a three wide. He's going to challenge for the lead as we see four wide down the back. 
Harvick to the inside of Kozlowski. He gets into the wall. He spins in front of the field. Nowhere for everyone to go. It's tight racetrack. And they're all going to pile up on the front stretch. Uh, a lot of the cars in the back of the pack get woed down. But it looks like the top 10 or 12 cars just had nowhere to go. Maybe one or two got by. I think Bush got by. I think Hamlin did as well. Yep, there's Hamlin on the back stretch. Red flag conditions are out. Watch Harvick get really tight and kind of put Kozlowski into the wall. Harvick's going to spin out as he definitely did not mean to put Kozlowski up there. Oh, and Reddick just hammers Kozlowski at the end there. we got to take a look. Here comes Austin Dillon. Alex Bowman runs into the back. Matt DiBenedetto spins out over the bumper or the nose of Denny Hamlin. Eric, there's just so much going on here. Oh, my goodness. Watch Kurt Busch skate by. Here comes Matt DiBenedetto. Thinks he's clear. Hamlin had to move out of the way because the Byron is coming down. And then Chase Elliott nowhere to go as well. Eric Jones and Joel Logano spins out at the end. Yeah. Oh, there goes Harvick once again into the inside wall. So many playoff contenders, by the way, involved in this one. There goes Eric Jones and William Byron spinning out. And Logano and Chase Elliott make contact. Completely incidental, of course. But there it is. Kozlowski involved. Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick, Tyler Reddick. Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, Matt DiBenedetto, Joey Logano, William Byron, and Alex Bowman. Wow, that's one, two, three, four, five playoff drivers involved in this one. And tons of solid talent involved in this crash as well. Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvick, Tyler Reddick, Chase Elliott, and Matt DiBenedetto. Your five playoff drivers involved in this crash. Jimmy Johnson, by the way, was able to slow it down. And it looks like he'll be third now after being mid-pack. So Martin Truex Jr. is back on lead lap now with those two quick cautions. So MTJ can make up some points and much needed because the field, half the field has just been inverted pretty much. Green flag is back in the air. Look at Kurt Busch now with the race lead. He's looking to advance to the championship round. But Jimmy Johnson gets a solid restart and a big push from Jamie McMurray in a turn three. He's going to use that momentum and clear Kurt Busch by the start finish line. Move Jimmy Johnson into the race lead. Now here comes Kyle Busch, a man on a mission. He's probably fuming inside that race car. He wants to get to Austin Dillon, but unfortunately Austin Dillon is in the garage area. But meanwhile, up front, it's Jimmy Johnson in the race lead. Kurt Busch in second, Jay McMurray in third. Three playoff drivers, and McMurray needs this one, this finish the most as he started the day outside. And we got a car in the wall hard. That's Carter Adelman. He's got to bring out the caution here with just two laps remaining. This race is somewhat flying by without all the cautions. Adelman slams the wall in turn three. I believe he's claiming he has a cut tire uh, from possibly contact with Kyle Busch when Kyle Busch was trying to get through the field. Here it is. Yeah, watch Kyle Busch. He kind of just moves Carter out of the way. Yeah, Kyle Busch was on a mission. Goes three wide with Clint Boyer there and Carter Adelman. So Carter is not happy with Kyle Busch, and this is going to set up a, an amazing final restart with two laps to go. Jimmy Johnson versus Kurt Busch. We saw this story in Homestead earlier this year. We're going to see it tonight once again in Menards. Jimmy Johnson with a great restart. Here comes El Eric Amarola going to make a three wide. Kyle Busch to the inside making a three wide. Can he get the second? He does, but he's going to be slowed up with a wide turn. White flag in the air. Jimmy Johnson looks like he has this one in the books, but the battle's on for second. The Busch brothers, Kyle and Kurt. Here comes Amarola going to poke his nose in it. Kyle Busch gets up to second after spinning out earlier in the race. And Jimmy Johnson is going to win the Menards 200. How about that stuff for Jimmy Johnson winning his first race since being a championship contender in Season 9. Jimmy going to do some gnarly burnouts here on the front stretch of Menards. And he's the... Awesome battle for second we have between Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, and Eric Amarola poking his nose in there late. There comes Clint Boyer. Did he get third? Looks like he's going to get fourth. But that's solid for Boyer as well. Jimmy Johnson is the next driver to move on to the championship round, joining Ryan Blaney. Here's your point standings. You're going to see Jimmy Johnson sitting at the top of the standings in a swan song season in the Aflac Cup Series. What a career he's had. The only two-time champion sits atop. And you see there's Matt DiBenedetto falling out. Jay McMurray. Improving his position after a solid run tonight. He is just four points out. And Matt DiBenedetto is three points out. Kyle Busch improves his position after starting, I think, 25 points out. He's five points out now. And then Tyler Reddick and Chase Elliott going to Talladega. 
pretty much needing a miracle. They are 28 and 31 points out, respectively. And yeah, they're gonna need, they're basically gonna need to win with a 35 car field listed for Talladega. And here's the other drivers who have already been eliminated in the Summer Showdown, but still get to participate in the Athletic Cup Series. Now, we're gonna move on to the finishing results. Like we've mentioned numerous times on this show, Jimmy Johnson sits at the top still with Kyle Busch finishing second today. What a comeback for Kyle Busch. Stuart Haas teammates finish third and fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, McMurray sixth, Hamlin with a nice top seven finish today. Ryan Newman finishes 11th. Daniel Suarez, uh, a little disappointing. He started third today, ends up finishing 14th. Can only imagine where he would have wound up if uh, pretty much all the contenders didn't wreck out today. Man, Alex Bowman has such a fast car. Um, I, he might have led the most laps. He finishes 33rd today. Joe Logano, 32nd. It's not Logano's season. Neither was season 10. So next race, we head to Talladega. Can't wait to see everyone there. This is JG24, J26, signing out.